We're joined by four keynote speakers as well as three special speakers from the ASEAN Interparliamentary Myanmar Caucus. It's the most appropriate time to announce our co collective effort and achievement and collective demand that must be heard by the United Nations. It must be heard by the Secretary General Ban Ki-moon. It must be heard by the world leaders that the time is not on our side, that they must act on now. We have collected more than 652,179 signatures as of this morning, and that signature is still counting as we are sitting here today. The, uh, the Dong San Suu Kyi's personal affairs, Dong San Suu Kyi is our hope, the hope of our people. So that's why the military joined us intentionally, trying intentionally uh, plan to imprison Dong San Suu Kyi. It is the trying to imprison all the peoples of our country. So we need to, uh, we need to uh, uh, awareness upon this, this case. Also, Dong San Suu Kyi said, when she met with Gambari, at that time she expressed, there is no rule of law in Burma. That's true. Now, her arrest show, her arrest approved. There is no rule of law in Burma. Also, not only Dong San Suu Kyi, <coughs> but also thousands of Borgate activists were detained plus after 2007. Also, they did not receive fair trial. We, I am saying, military region is trying to kill those Borgate activists to be in prison. That is murder, the worst kinds of torture in all over the world. They have the responsibility to take care of those who are in prison, but they ignore. That's me, systematic killing. So therefore, lady, the release of all political prisoners is really important because they, uh, <coughs> they, they truly committed democracy. Also, they truly love the country. Also, they will become a leaders, of, leaders of Obama in the future. Dong San Suu Kyi is the one who is trusted by the majority of the people, including ethnic nationalities, including soldiers. So without Dong San Suu Kyi, it's impossible to have peace and stability in Burma. That is definitely, definitely sure. Therefore, we requested all of you and also Ban Ki-moon to take a priority for this. Therefore, re release of Dong San Suu Kyi is really important. With the release of Dong San Suu Kyi, Suu Kyi and all political prisoners, there will be no national reconciliation process in Burma. I saw the successful result of the global campaign to get signatures. And I hope that that's not the end of the story, because Burma is in our next door neighbor. The people are suffering. The people with different views are still in prison. Though Aung San Suu Kyi is going to be in prison again. So the Thai people and the peoples of ASEAN should continue to express their concern. Because whenever we talk about human rights, human rights have no frontier. Mm -hmm.